Welcome to Focus Washington. I'm Chuck Conconi, and my guest today is Greek Ambassador Christos Panagopoulos. Ambassador, thank you for being here today. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, of course, it, it, there's many things to talk about, but one of the things that, that's been so much in the news is the economy in Greece and the, the crisis that's existed there. Has too much austerity been demanded of your government? First of all, I would like to uh, have uh, Greece in the epicenter of the interest uh, for another reason, but unfortunately, <laughs> it has been the economic crisis, which is going on for about uh, three to four years in my country. Before that, uh, let me tell you that uh, Greece was a success economic story. Uh, we've been in the most exclusive club uh, of the Eurozone, and uh, we have been doing pretty well, having an annual growth average of 3%. But uh, the crisis was important to my country. You remember 2008, a uh, big economic crisis. Then uh, at some point, we have been cut off from the international markets. And then this crisis took some tragic dimensions. Too much austerity. That's what they say. The most appropriate people, IMF, you know, openly right now, they criticize the first recipe for the salvation of the Greek economy. We in Greece, we do, we live through this. It's really very tough. I cannot... Are you, what, are you, what are you putting in? What measures are you putting into place to correct this situation? Everything. We're trying to implement, and I have to tell you from the very beginning, in an open democratic society, there's a limit you can ask from the citizens. Mm -hmm. You cannot in a dictatorship, you can go and say, okay, I decide this, do it. But in an open democratic society, you cannot do these things. I mean, every other week, go back to your constituency and say, oh, you have to cut this and this. So what we are implementing, reforms across the board, we're trying to put in order our uh, national finance and that means cuts all over from the public sector, which, by the way, uh, is not that much overinflated that uh, some uh, international media, they do suggest, but we do need very badly some reforms. Then uh, we have a large privatization uh, program underway right now. The problem is we're trying to sell public property when this is somehow devaluated. So the political apparatus is very reluctant to go out and sell, sell public property where the prices are not what you could expect. So you need money, you have to get rid of your excess, I mean, mm -hmm. public property, but the momentum may be not the most appropriate. Well, but the situation there has caused a lot of unrest, particularly with young people who, I think I saw the rate was 50% unemployment. Is there anything, any way that corner can be turned? This is the most tragic dimension of the economic crisis. We have uh, 26 plus unemployment for the general labor force. Mm -hmm. And uh, the number to the youth you refer to is dramatic, more than 50%. So the first priority of the government is growth policies. So we can create new jobs, and absorb all these a million and a half people that they lost their jobs during the uh, years of the crisis. It's a very difficult thing. We ask our partners to be supportive, and there are some uh, actions coming from uh, our European car partners. We need more of this, not to donate money, because this is a myth. Mm -hmm. Nobody is donating money to, to Greece up to now. They're giving us loans, some of our partners they take profit out of this, as we speak, while Greece faces all these great difficulties. Some of the partners, given the loans, they're making profit, so nobody is giving money uh, to us. They give us loans and they restructure the debt. That means, let's say, if you have five years to repay that back, you ask them, you want to lose all your money or to take instead of five, ten years? The Numbers are not actual, sure. but just to give you a dimension of what's going on. Well, now your prime minister is coming to visit the president, President Obama. Is, will he be coming for economic assistance, or will they be, that will come under discussion? 
economic assistance we don't get any from the United States, but uh, let me tell you that we have been working for this visit for quite some time. Uh, bilaterally, the United States and Greece, they share a lot of things. We are going through one of the most uh, uh, great uh, uh, eras of Greek-American relations. Let me tell you that despite the economic crisis, Greece is a polar of stability in the area, in the eastern Mediterranean. And if you analyze things, if you take out probably Israel, Greece is the most friendly country to the United States and would like to promote our common agenda together. So economy, yes, is going to be discussed. Uh, the United States, through the IMF, participate in this program for the Greek economy. But directly, uh, uh, we can explore things, uh, assistance we don't get from the United States. Well, you're strategically located, of course, in the Mediterranean. And it, that's part of the agreement, I assume, also they'll be discussing with the president. Absolutely. Absolutely, because if you have a look at the area, it's one of the most crucial neighborhoods. And uh, you see the situation in Egypt, uh, in Syria. There are problems all over. Greece is the oldest member of NATO and European Union in the area. So we feel somehow a special responsibility to bring in other parts of the Western Balkans, for instance, to the Euro-Atlantic structures, and again, help our American and other partners to bring peace, stability, and prosperity to the area. As complex as everything is there right now. Ambassador, thank you so much for being here Thank today. you for having me. I'm Chuck Conconey, and this has been Focus Washington.